Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello. Oh, welcome back. I'm Tails. I yelled too loud. It's okay. I'm sorry. No, it wasn't loud enough. You didn't clip sorry. the audio or anything. No! Which we are oft to do. Yeah, we do. <coughs> Whee! Whoa! Whee! I love it. Look at you having a good time. I thought it made you sick. Last time you were on it, it made you sick. It does a little bit, but it's pretty cool today. Yeah, I guess. Well, because we're sitting on- we switched our positions on the couch. And I think that makes it easier for me. For you to watch the same exact image? Yeah, because I'm farther away from the TV now. By like a fucking, like, half a foot. Six inches, yeah. Dude, six inches makes a big difference. <laughs> Especially at Subway. Yeah. <laughs> That's the difference between three dollars and five dollars. It is, it Am is. I right? Yeah. And two more stringy, bland, tasteless, <laughs> rubbery pieces of turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Subway, eat flesh. Ugh. <sighs> Sponsored by Subway. It is amazing how, like, um... Them just saying eat fresh puts it in your mind like oh yeah freshness, but then when you really think about it You're like that that shit's not fresh. It's not it's literally sitting right in front of you in a vat <laughs> That's been sitting there all day. Yeah, the yeah. fucking mayonnaise is like warm ah. Oh Wait, I think I can I think I can sanic this yep. Did he just go yep? Yep uh -huh. that's, that's me. Yep Hey, sanic the hedgehog. I'm d oh Fucking laser whatever. Oh, that's what I do nice. I figured well, it out did no it. big deal. Let's take the zip wire out of here. Oh, Woo! no shit. Fucking god damn. Can I do like a like a whoa, like loop all the way around? Can I can I Can I have fun? Is that a is that an option in this game? Well, it, it's funny that you say that cuz I was just about to say like as time goes on, this game really is growing on me. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Every time and granted I'm not the one playing it, but like Every time, every session we sit down to do a few episodes of this, I'm like, yay! <laughs> like, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more each time. It's funny, it's funny, because at, at first I was right there with you, I was like, this game is bullshit. But, as, I don't know, I don't know. You de it's Something I like about it. Yeah, man, I, I know exactly what you mean, dude. It's Stockholm Syndrome! <laughs> <laughs> like, I know we have to do like 50 more episodes of this, so I'm just like, I've programmed my brain to say I love it! <laughs> <laughs> I know we're finishing the game, so why don't I have a good time instead of a horrible time? Somebody's like sticking you with 700 needles and like an Iron Maiden, and you're like, This is great! <laughs> more needles, please! Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hold on. Okay. I think I have to throw this. Nope. Nope. Oh, well, that did a thing. Yeah, I will door. say that the rings look kind of ugly sometimes. What? Do you notice that? Yeah, like that's sometimes why they look like weirdly cut out. They're w super shiny. They're like a little too shiny. But they, they're like, like they're so shiny that like, the shine engine just makes it look like garbage. You know, like there's a filter in Photoshop that looks like really good, but then when you crank it to a hundred, it's just like, yeah, it's just like three pixels, and you're like, whoa, okay. They, they're weirdly like. They look like TV snow a little bit, like a golden version of that, you know? Yeah. It's weird. How do I? Static. That would have been the. Oh, I have fucking tails, dude. I have to use tails. Get Jesus. him over here. Why is he nice. all the way the fuck over there? Just leave Sonic in the path of the lasers. Yeah. What the hell? It doesn't hurt you when you're just standing. Nope. Asshole. He's fine. You're an asshole. Sorry, am I doing that too much? No. It's a different episode, so. 24 hours have passed. Oh, sweet. Since You're an asshole! Okay, great. <laughs> hey, you know how in the David Bowie song, Under Pressure? Yeah. It's like, do 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 Yep. Isn't that a lot like Ice Ice Baby? Uh, it's exactly like Ice Ice Baby because Ice Ice Baby sampled that. Yeah, that that's funny because, like, that wasn't a thing back then, right? Or, like, it wasn't as common. So when, like, people were criticizing him for it, he was like, no, there's a different note in it. And it's like, no, it's sampled. Yeah, no, it's the exact same thing. Well, I remember, like... Cause, uh, Can't Touch This, um, by MC Hammer, uses a sample of Super Freak by yeah. Rick James. And I remember being fucking stunned, because I was right at that age where I was like a little kid and like, Can't Touch This, I heard that first, you know, cause that was an enormous hit at the time. And like, later when I heard Super Freak, I was like, whoa! This asshole ripped off MC Hammer 20 years ago! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rick James. Yeah, I would I would probably let him uh, at least sniff my butt. Rick James? Yeah. He's dead. 
All right. Well, Unfortunately. Oh, this fucking little spot for the robot. I didn't even see that. He was, uh... How did I not see that? He was great. Fucking, what an asshole am I. You know, David Bowie was right all along. You know Rick James, uh, and his wife kidnapped a girl and held her as a sex slave? <laughs> like, held her as prisoner? <laughs> did you not know this? <laughs> here we, what? Here we go. To Google. <laughs> No way! <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god, dude. You know, I guess it really isn't like, like, how famous you are isn't really a gauge of how sane you are. No. Cocaine's a hell of a drug, as they've said many times. Oh, was it the coke that did it? <sighs> well... Or was it the fact that he was a super freak? That's an excellent question. Um... Was he indeed super freaky? Hold on, I'm trying... Yep. Uh... <laughs> uh... Fucking <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. Yes. Yes, it is. What the hell? Okay, let's see. Hold on. I'm right there, man. <laughs> I'll kidnap you if you want. <laughs> if I want. Sorry. I'm a super freak. I can pretty it's much guarantee you don't want to be kidnapped. Isn't this super freaky? <laughs> yeah, that's as super freaky as it gets. I'll try Rick James kidnapping. I don't even know any of the other songs that he's written. Uh, he did, um... I believe yeah. he did, uh, You Can't Touch This by MC Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kidnapped the girl. Don't wait. Hold on, I'm looking it up. <laughs> you just keep playing Sonic the Hedgehog. Did she just have, like, a bag over her head for, like, a long time? And she's like, No, let me go, let me go! And he's like, No! And then, and then, and then finally he, like, takes off the bag to, like, have sex with her, and she's like, No, no! Rick James? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, Rick James. According, according to James, oh, he, oh, oh, yeah, oh. I made it. Oh my nice. god, I can't believe I did that. According to James, he briefly got involved in quote unquote pimp activity. Oh, yeah. Let's say solo career. So, um, so that was like a solo career in pimping. Yeah. <laughs> personal life. It's probably under personal. Let's see life. now, solo career. Oh yeah. Wow, yeah. he really did go into pimping just by himself. Great. Um. There's a, a pimping supergroup. Legal problems. A fucking mad season. Oh, okay, here. In 1993, wow, that's... <laughs> he's a little... I think he was probably, like, in his 40s by then. Pro too old. Too old for kidnapping. <laughs> you should know better. In 1993, he and future wife, Tanya something, were accused of holding... <laughs> wait, 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 what's her name? Hijazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya, whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's not, it's not important. <laughs> We're accused of holding 24 year old Frances Alley hostage for up to six days, tying her up, forcing her to perform sexual acts. That's not cool. And whoa! And burning her legs and abdomen with a hot end of a crack cocaine what the pipe fuck? during a week long cocaine binge. What the fuck, dude? In 1993, while out on bail for that earlier incident, Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> Rick For James, that fucking yeah, that little whatever <laughs> indiscretion. Rick James, under the influence of cocaine, assaulted music executive Mary Sauger at the St. James Club. Sauger claimed she met James and Jazzy for a business meeting, but said the two then kidnapped and beat her over twenty. He kidnapped two people. What the fuck, dude? Jeez, he was found guilty of both offenses, but was cleared of a torture charge. Oh, good for him. Oh, yeah, that's- you know what? Justice really is still wow. alive. He served two years in prison and lost two million dollars for that. T two years? That's it? I did wow! Man, when you're famous, really? you really can't get away with murder. Yeah, uh, well, at least kidnapping. <laughs> damn! At the very least. God damn, Rick James! Yeah, um, asshole. That- David Bowie was writing a song about Rick James. It's funny, though, like... <laughs> He's an <a> asshole. <laughs> yeah. Rick James, bitch. <laughs> He's the kidnapper. It is funny how beloved he is, <laughs> knowing what a fucking garbagey human being. Well, that's being the thing, was. right? That's that that that's a concept that I always have, uh, like a weird relationship with. Like, if there's an uh, what the fuck just happened? I don't know. If there's an artist and right. that artist is an asshole but makes really good art, like right. what? Is like it, that is ego it, raptor fella. <laughs> <laughs> is it morally right to still appreciate the art? Or... Uh, I say yes. Yeah? Like, and I mean, who, it, it, of course it depends, you know? Like, who knows if Michael Jackson was a child molester? I don't know. I hope not, because I really fucking love his music. Yeah. But like, 
as I've as I've gotten older, like I just learned to like separate the art from the artist. Sure. You know, because like you'll just you'll just miss out on too much shit that will like make your life better. Well, let's say let's say for example, there's like like a music artist and like you know they're like really really good, but they're like a fucking asshole and like. The only power you have over them is to like ruin their career because they're a complete asshole. Right. Like, I mean, that's pretty vindictive and like, I, I guess no to that, but like, you can understand somebody doing that and like, is that okay? That this per- this- this complete douchebag. Oh, right. Like, but how would you ruin their career? I don't know. She's ready. Twitter. <laughs> 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 it's not worth it, man. It, it, like honestly, like the, every time I see like an insanely hateful YouTube comment, not I mean not towards us, but like towards anybody, I'm like, man, your time would really be better served making art. Yeah, that's true. Or like doing anything, just yeah. like er, all the time you spend shitting on other stuff is like time you're wasting um, creating something yourself, yeah. you know? Uh, it, it's, uh, I, I always have this, like, uh... That said, let's get back to shitting all over this <laughs> game. <laughs> well, I always have this personal... <laughs> this always comes up in my head when I think about Ender's Game, right? Because Orson Scott Card is, like, he's, like, a super gay basher. Yeah, he's a terrible dude. Um, I do love Ender's Game. But, though. like, Ender's Game is such a great book! Yep. And it's like, oh, man, you, you can't help but, like, shake the thought, like, oh, man, this is written by a... Weird angry old guy who hates gays, right? I don't know. I get past it just because I'm like It it's true that like yes all everything you're saying is true, but at the same time like Ender's game has been read by millions of awesome people who it's then influenced their work in cool ways yeah, You know that's true. so like I think I think when you make something artistic like And you just put it out there like all right, remember when we were talking about Tommy Two Tone? Eight six seven five three zero nine. Oh, that classic I, discussion. Dude, I fucking love that song. But like, I read an interview with the guy did, afterwards. Did he also kidnap and? No, no, he's a super good dude. Oh, okay. Uh, I read an interview with the lead singer, and he was like, "Yeah, that's. It's just been too long since we wrote that song. Like, I don't even think about it anymore. That song belongs to the universe now. You know, that was his way of putting it. Oh yeah. And I was like, that's a cool way of saying it because a after a certain period of time, it really. Like, you've moved on from who you were when you created that thing, and, like, it sort of belongs to the people it means the most to, which is the fans, and, like, um, also to yourself. Like, so, but my, my point just being, like, the art is more important than the person who makes it. True dad. And with that, we will end our highly artistic show. Yeah, that was an unusually- uh, Whoa! With yeah, tails yeah, exploding in an inferno of horror. Alright, well... Next time on Game Grubs. Next time on... Game... Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Orson Scott Card, come on. Get your shit together, yeah, man. Yeah, stop hating gays. Gay people are awesome. Yeah. Don't knock it till you try it, baby! Oh, damn! Woo! Yo! You know I've sucked a dick or two! Okay.